what I'm taking a look at right now is just the uh, the driver section. This is the power supply bias. Uh, this is the um, power supply for the 6V6. This is the bias rectifier, and this is a VR75 just to hold my bias voltage constant. And here is a bias adjustment right there. And uh, here's the 6SN7 and the 6V6 right there. And what I'm looking at is the signal that will be driving the grid of the 833. And I can get as much as, even more, 130 volts. That's at 1.53% THD at 130 volts. And there's what it looks like. There's its harmonic profile. It's what we expect out of a single ended amp. But this is the driver section. Now, if I start cranking it down, my uh, at uh, 40 volts drive, up to a half percent. Let's see, about 75 volts, I believe, is what we're uh, actually going to be driving. There we go. There's 72 volts at 0.8%. Uh, that's 10 dB. Let's see. There's 9 dB. Okay, 81 volts at less than 1%, 0.9% at 81 volts. That ought to be enough to drive it. That's what we're, that's what we will be driving the grid with. We can't expect it to get much better than that. There's its uh, harmonic profile. Fundamental, second, harmonic, third, fourth, fifth. Which is what the output of the amplifier looks like. So, we're driving it with a, uh, relatively clean signal. I got no problem with that. And again we can run it all the way up to 100. There's 116 volts driving. We're not drawing any grid current. 130 volts at one and a half percent. 146 volts. 1.65 percent. Let's see what this looks like. Gotta crank this thing down a little bit. There we go. Well it looks pretty good. There's its harmonics. They are sure singing, aren't they? Fundamental, second, third, fourth harmonics down for whatever reason. Okay, so that's the driver section. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like it is. This is a one section of a 6A, 6SN7, and a 6V6. Cathode biased. Pretty simple. It looks like this uh, amplifier, to go back to it though, uh, works best with a little bit of cathode bias. I haven't determined exactly where the sweet spot is, but it looks like when you're measuring the current over here, it looks like the sweet spot is, of course it's not all hooked up right now, but it looks like it's about 180 milliamps. We'll hook it up and I'll, uh, I'll show you what that is later. I've got to do just a, a little bit more to it. This is how I've got it uh, connected together with a little umbilical cord, eight octal pin from one to the other. So that's, that's some of it right there. We can't forget our signal to noise ratio of our driver. And here it is. It's uh, almost, uh, there's 78, maybe bumping things here. It's about 81, 80.9 something. That's 81 dB signal to noise. That's not bad. At a kilohertz, as you can see the 1000 right there. As it comes on and off doing its thing. Signal to noise on the driver is uh, okay. I'm happy with that. have to turn the lights off. Those VR tubes are pretty cool, aren't they? Okay, well that's that's another piece of it. Tonight is uh, July the 23rd, 2015. <clears throat> Here's that 833 amp. Here's a uh, power supply I've built for it. It's a 5 V4, a 5X, 5V4, a 6X5, and a uh, VR75 voltage regulator. I use that for the bias. Can't show you underneath it right now. This is a 6SN7 and a 6V6 driving a 6V6 transformer and underneath there's another one turning it around. And there's the Mighty 833. 
running right at that thing is so bright three kilovolts okay well here's something you might find interesting there's what it looks like at 20 kilohertz there's the 20 kilohertz there's its power we got it running at 59 watts THD is a half percent right there 21 and a half volts across 8 ohms 20 kilohertz looks pretty good huh pretty damn amazing if you ask me there it is down here there's its spectral display there's 20 kilohertz there's its second harmonic right out there it's, it's 20 25 30 35 40 I don't know what that is um, that's it uh, 20 kilohertz let's go to 2 kilohertz Sixty-three watts went up to two point seven percent. There's our two kilohertz right there. Still doesn't look horrible. There's its spectral display now. Very rich, huh? Got them all. Let's stretch it out so you can see them a little bit better. Got all. Got them all. No doubt about it. Okay, let's go to two hundred hertz. power to drop to 42 watts. Here's our 200 hertz. A little misshapen, you can see. And now it's to 8.7 percent. 200 hertz. I think these things, are, you know, sound really good in the upper ends. And from all that I've heard on uh, YouTube, that's what I hear. They always play chamber music or something with a lot of high frequencies in them <clears throat> they don't seem to do real well on the low end and, and when you listen to them uh, you you detect that too hmm still got some work to do but it is pretty uh, pretty amazing well there it is right there so I'll post this just for fun <laughs> 